only at the Indianapolis Zoo. Well, I think the most beneficial thing that we can do with this biofuel initiative here at the zoo is to talk to our guests about what biofuel is, to demonstrate to them that we can reuse some of our resources. This oil starts out as fryer oil in our concessions areas, um, in Cafe in the Commons primarily. And so that oil is collected by our concession staff and our facility staff then takes that, takes it over to the biofuel processing unit and through a chemical process actually converts batches of the used fry oil into the biodiesel. We're simply testing the utilization of the biofuel in some of our Kubotas, which are our on-grounds vehicles that we use for maintenance and that type of thing. Right now, we're simply in the kind of the startup stage, testing this out, making sure it works in the existing vehicles we have. One of the main reasons we partnered with the Indianapolis Zoo is the broad reach that the zoo has with one, it's conservation message, but two, all of the visitors that can come here on an annual basis. So it's a great opportunity to teach a lot of people and if in any way they can reduce, reuse, or recycle within their own lives, the, you know, the better. The more we can do to educate people and empower them to then go home and make choices. They may not be making biofuel, but it might spark conversation around the dinner table. How can we be more effective with this? What can we do to help conservation.